Hello everybody and welcome to our Tech Tuesday tutorial number 37. Today we go into the new Google Calendar interface. Well, we came back from the break and we noticed that our Google Calendar had a new button. Now to be fair, this has been around since about October for some, but our institution just got the rollout and I thought this would be a good time for us to go over some of these changes. So first, if your Google Calendar looks the way it always has, then you need to look up at the top right corner to see if there's a blue button. If you've got that button that says use new calendar, go ahead and click it. It's okay, you can switch back, don't worry about it. So when you click on this, it's going to let you know that you can upgrade. And you click upgrade now, and you're going to notice a very different look. And it kind of walks you through a little bit in terms of what this all means for you, right? So right now you can go in here and click on this and it'll take you to a help file that'll explain it. Or you can click customize, uh, or just got it and make it go away. Let's go ahead and click customize. So the first thing you're able to do is set the density and the color. And response to the screen is actually kind of interesting. That means if your screen changes in size and stuff like that, then it will uh, automatically change the rest of the calendar interface to match. The other option is to choose compact, which kind of just makes everything a little bit smaller and makes everything kind of a little more compact. You can choose a modern color set or go back to the classic color set, which in some cases will just make things a little bit brighter or a little bit more pastel and stuff like that. It looks roughly the same, except for some reason it looks just cleaner than it did before. There's a lot more subtle lines and things like that, but there are some major differences in terms of what you can expect whenever you're using it. Let's look at what is the same. You can still add people's calendars here. You still have a section for my calendars and other calendars. These still expand and contract. You still have your, you still have your calendar views up here. You can still go to different weeks using the little arrows at the top. You can also search and you get your options up here. And of course you've got your regular Google Apps tray and, and all that. One major difference though is that there isn't a button up here to create a new event anymore. In fact, it's down here at the bottom. So just like a lot of their other apps, they're switching to a more mobile kind of feel where you've got your menu at the top. This hides or shows this side panel and this button. And when you click on this, this creates your event. Again, a cleaner looking interface where you can set all the details that you used to be able to set before. Only this time it's a lot more compact and organized. So you have your location, you can add whether or not you're gonna do a Google Hangouts for your conferencing. You can add, of course, your notifications there. Choose the color of the event. Choose the actual calendar you're gonna put it on. Now notice this too, when you add the description, you now have rich text formatting, which you did not have before. So you can now do bold, you can do italics, you can do bulleted lists. So that's kind of nice. You can also go over here and click link and you can link to specific URLs and display the text and all that. So rich text editing, rich formatting here. If you'd like to add attachments, you can do so as well. Just click on the attach icon and you can either search Google Drive for files or you can upload. So let's say we just want to put in um, a random file here as part of our meeting notes or something like that. Hit select and then it'll be added there. Now, what's great is that the people you add to this event will then get access to the document itself. So let's try that. All right, hit save. Would like to send invitations, of course. Okay. Once you have an event created, you can now click on it and get this little pop-up like you used to, but this pop-up is a lot more informative than it used to be. You can see attachments here, you can see the description, you can see the room, everything else. You can see even who has RSVP'd, which is great. And then you can um, uh, edit it right from there. But of course you've got your other icons here that let you do basic stuff, delete, email this stuff and so on. You can duplicate it and print it. And this is all from the pop-up. You used to have to go into the details view to see all this stuff. So another nifty thing about this is that if you hover over anybody's profile picture here, you can then see contact information. So you can then start a video call with that person, send them a chat, check out their calendar for an event or email them or anything else, or even go in and edit the contact directly right from this pop-up, which comes from your event, which is just awesome. For events, they color code them based on whether you've responded and things like that. So if you're an attending event, the event's a solid color. If you answered maybe to an event, you'll see a diagonal line across it. So we can do that here. If I go here to test invite and I say, mm, maybe, then you're gonna see this kind of, these hash marks, right? If you haven't replied yet, you're just gonna see the outline. That means that this has not been replied to. So we can say yes and say, okay, this will now go full. And finally, if you say no to an event, then it's going to draw a line through it, strike through the whole thing and just show you the outline itself. 
Another thing I want to mention is how you can kind of control the way you see stuff here. So there is the old schedule view. It used to be called agenda view. And it's kind of nice because it fades out all the stuff that's already happened, has the line as to where you currently are in the day. And of course, it shows multiple days there, just the, the upcoming events. You can just show the day itself. And the day itself is actually kind of interesting because what it does is it shows all the calendars you have turned on side by side so that you can kind of compare all of them. Now this is really good if you're scheduling events for other people and you're just trying to find something for that day and you can kind of get a broad view of everyone's calendar there. Of course, you've got week, month, year, stuff like that. Um, a little bit cleaner on all that. You can choose whether or not you want to show weekends or declined events entirely. The settings button up here now lets you quickly jump to the trash and see everything that's been trashed uh, in total. You can control the density and color uh, as we did at the very beginning, but right there. And of course, you can go back to the classic calendar and get rid of all this if you just don't like it. Now, there's something really cool about a lot of the new services that Google has, and that's the send feedback option. If you ever get an option to send feedback through settings or through an icon down there, now try it out. Because when you do this, when you click send feedback, you can give any kind of feedback you want and so on, but it even lets you do a screenshot. So this is just a little bonus fact here. If you click on this, it'll bring up your screenshot and it'll say draw using yellow to highlight issues or back to hide sensitive info. So you can say, okay, I actually have an issue with the, uh, the way you display the numbers here, but I don't want you to see any of my events. Yep. And if you need this toolbar moved, you certainly can, right? You hit done and then you send your feedback and so on. I'm going to hit cancel because I really don't want to send them this, but this is really slick and they do this across a lot of their products. Okay, well that is pretty much the new Google Calendar. I urge you all to try it out at least for a month or so. It's probably going to go in that direction pretty soon for everyone, but right now it's still optional. So now's a good time to kind of get into it. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, go ahead and click that like button and why not support us and hit that subscribe button while you're at it and comment in the comment box below. Hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss another one. And uh, we'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.